Welcome to Florida. Well, thank you very much. You're a very lovely young lady. Thank you. What do you look forward to now that you're in Florida? I look forward to beating Dusty Rhodes. I look forward to beating all these ex-champions that are around here. Everyone here is an ex. The Von Erichs, as you may well know, are the greatest wrestling family in the world. I'm out here to prove that. I win a match any way, any time, any way, shape, or form. I don't care. I will come out on top. One thing, a lot of beautiful ladies here in Florida, but I didn't see no menace with a dog. Thanks for that. Mike Graham, who's come out here, and you people listened to him, and cried, and whimpered, and cried like a little baby about how he was humiliated on TV here. Well, Mike Graham, not only will I humiliate you, but now, after that, I'll hurt you. I'll send you back home with your tail between your legs like a dog ought to be sent off. Now, I've taken you, I've beaten you before, I took the belt from an ex-world champion. Now, do you put yourself in the category with a world champion? No, you don't. You put him in the same category with me because now I am the southern champion and you're coming after a belt of mine. You gotta remember, I'm from Dallas, Texas, and the Cowboys, they jumped on Tampa Bay. And the way they jumped on Tampa Bay is the same way that David Von Erich is going to jump on Mike Graham. It's going to be a 38 to nothing blowout. If there's... You know, David, Gerald Briscoe is certainly going to have his hands full with the Black Ninja, but I'm excited about the prospect of coming here to Jacksonville to the Coliseum and teaming up with two magnificent athletes like yourself and your brother, Kerry, and certainly uh, Sweet Brown Sugar Jack Briscoe Reputation is known worldwide. Mr. Jacksonville, I don't know who he is, and frankly, I don't care, but he's running in some awful fast company. He sure is. I don't see how in the world they think for one minute they can beat us. My little brother, Kerry, little brother, I say, 260 pounds, Woo! solid beef. The biggest man in professional wrestling, the most muscular, the probably the strongest of all of the wrestlers in professional wrestling is going to be on my team, and he can dance just as fast and just as hard as I can. We're on a high in Jackson. That's it, baby. These boys have brains, as I told you. They don't know what losing is. They've learned way, way back that the name of the game is winning. It doesn't really matter how, as long as you get your hand up. I would say that probably my sons will someday be world champions. They've been raised with second place being last. They have been raised to take titles in wrestling. These boys, since they were six years old, they've been preached to Kevin to David, to Kerry, to David, to their brothers Mike and, and Chris, that to bring home championships. And that's exactly what they are doing. They've claimed most of the titles in the world today. Before it's over, they'll claim the world heavyweight champion. Professional wrestling with me right now. They are brothers, uh, David and Kerry Von Erich. And uh, David, I must say, this is my first opportunity to watch this young man in action, and he is everything that you said he was. Of course, Gordon. So I never lie. I've never lied in my life. I've always been cocky. I've always been a smart aleck, and a lot of people don't like that, but that's the way David Von Erich is, and that's the way David Von Erich is going to remain. I've always told you people that Kerry Von Erich was the greatest, and is the greatest athlete in professional wrestling. You can look at his body and tell that. He was legitimately number one in the world under 21 years old in his class in the discus number one in the world. He was training for the Olympics. This kid was going to the Olympics until we boycotted him. He was going. Well, let me ask you this then. Is there a possibility, Kerry, uh, that uh, sibling rivalry between you and, and uh, David, and certainly let's not forget Kevin, who's another great athlete, uh, did the three of you sort of uh, uh, taunt each other on into greater heights oh, in athletics? Yeah, we've influenced each other all through childhood. But you know what, Gordon, so I'm, I want to say one thing. I'm so proud of my brother Dave because he's came to Florida. He's now the champion. He's, he's done everything, just about everything you can do in Florida, and now I'm here. And my brother Kevin's been coming here. And, you know, this is a rare occasion. I'm usually in a three-piece suit, you know, with my gold all on, you know, because we make lots of bread, and that's what we're here for. And I'm wearing that suit, but now you ladies have it through us. All you, all you pop belly husbands, step back and zoom that camera in on this chest. Zoom her in. Come on, bring those cameras in here. Look at this, baby. Look at this. Okay, you see that, baby? That's going right up. We're going to go. We're going to go all the way, baby. And we're going for that 25 grind in that tag team. 
Well, all right, I understand, of course, that you're, uh, you and your brother have come down here to Florida primarily to enter the regional World Tag Team Tournament, which is a very critical point. Uh, I am a, a little bit surprised, uh, maybe I shouldn't be, but the same basic attitude that you seem to, uh, to have seems to be uh, carried over in your brother. Hey, my little brother listens to what I tell him. All of our brothers sit together like glue. Blood is thicker than water. We stick together, and nobody defeats a Von Erich. Hey, my brother's not a smart aleck. He doesn't have a smart aleck attitude. It's because of what the people say. He's not a smart aleck. It's just because Florida doesn't know what's good and what's bad. Jacksonville is. Well, whoever I think Mr. Jacksonville is, I, he looks to me like he's Al Jolson. He's running around with that black mask on. All you can see is those white, funky lips and those white eyes. Any man that's got to hide his identity is a coward in my book. I brought my brother down here. You don't see a mask on me. You won't see a mask on him, and you don't see a mask on King James. We're going into the ring to, do, to win and to defeat those men. And when I get done, Mr. Jacksonville, hometown Jacksonville boy, I'm going to pull that mask out off your head and find out exactly who you really are. Okay, we'll find out what happens this coming. Let me tell you something, punk. Nobody challenges David Von Erich at all. Nobody brings a contract out. You're so ignorant, Uncle Tom, that you're going to challenge me and your hometown on a contract? Listen, Bubba, you ain't got enough brains, son, so I'll sign any piece of paper you want the rest of you, punk. Well, I got the contract. Just put your name on it. All right, that's right. Right here is page two of the yeah, just, just give me the damn... Put it here. All right, right here. There, punk. Now, anytime you got the guts, and in your hometown, I'm going to stomp all over your head, Uncle Tom. Well, Mr. Von Erich, I'd like to point out that uh, Bubba Douglas's name does appear on this of contract. It does. That's right. He will be the referee for this what? match. Yeah, he's going to be the referee. Uh, you have signed a contract. Wait a minute. He's going to be the referee? Yeah, you've signed a contract. And you'll read right here as you are going to wrestle the American dream, Dusty Rhodes. No, wait a minute. No, I didn't sign it. No, wait. Well, yeah, you did. And on top of that, uh, paragraph A is that this will be in a Texas bull rope match. So a what? A Texas bull rope match. No, wait a minute. No, wait a minute. Yeah, that's the way it is. So it doesn't you... You were in on this the whole time, Gordon. No, I have... Uh, I do. No, Bubba, that's no. yours, my friend. And uh, I'm terribly sorry. No We've way. got a match. We've got a match in no the way. ring right now. Let's move on to the ring. Get through the dressing room door. Dusty Rose, I hope you can make it into the ring. Because the only thing fatter in your body is your head. Now, you're taking on David Von Erich from Big D, Dallas, Texas. Everybody knows that Dallas, Texas is where everything happens in Texas. Ain't nothing in Austin but hippies and heads. And Dallas, Texas is where the people are, baby, where the class is. So come on, take on David Von Erich. Nobody's beat me yet. <laughs> 